Hi students, welcome to the platform of eGurukul and Dr. Bhatia Medical Coaching Institute. I am Dr. Ramishri, Rob Gain Guru. Welcome to the image based series. So I am going to discuss one image with you all in this question. So what is the indication of the following circlage operation? TV is showing cervical length less than 2.5 cm. Rescue circlage. Previous three second trimester abortions, cervix less than three centimeters. First and foremost, what sir, what type of circlage is this? Most of the time, any circlage operations which we see, our mind mainly strikes towards the McDonald circlage because that is the most commonly applied circlage. This is not McDonald circlage. If you are thinking this as McDonald, you are wrong. So, what is McDonald circlage? So, McDonald circlage me, we take the suture material from all four quadrants of the cervix and then you tie it off. So, it will be a pursuit string suture like this. So, McDonald circlage me, you take suture material from all four quadrants of the cervix and then you come, it, come out like this. So, it's a pursuit string suture. So, it's a pursuit string suture through the cervix, right? But whereas observe this circlage. So this circlage, you are taking the suture material. First suture, you are going from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock and back to 12. And 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock and back to 3 o'clock. So you are putting two suture materials here. Right? So this is not McDonald's circlage. So basically we have three indications. We also have modified Shirodhkar circlage. Modified Shirodhkar is where you are going to take the suture material submucosally. So modified Shirodhkar you do when there is a failed McDonald or extremely short cervix. So here the muslin tape is tied submucosally at cervical isthmic junction. We also have abdominal circlage guys. So abdominal circlage is Benson and Durfee. Abdominal circlage is Benson and Durfee. In pregnancy, we do lash and lash circlage and we can do the laparoscopic procedures also. So these are the different types of the circlage. But the suspense which I kept you is, so when the cervix is dilated, when the cervix is dilated, if you are putting a stitch, that is the worm circlage. So the image which we are seeing there is the worm circlage. So worm circlage means you take the first suture material from... 12 to 6, back to 12 and 3 to 9 and back to 3. So, this is a rescue circlage yeah, emergency circlage. So, this circlage we mainly put, we mainly put for, so this circlage is mainly put when the cervix is already dilated. So, that is why we call it as rescue circlage. So, the indications of circlage are, there were many questions on circlage, guys, in your past question papers. So, you should be perfect with the cervical incompetence. Most students think that circlage is put for cervical incompetence. That's all. No, there are some indications for the circlage operations. So, what are the indications for the circlage operation? So, we have three indications, guys. We have three indications. History indicated. USG indicated. Emergency circlage or rescue circlage. So history indicated here prophylactic circlage may. When there are more than or equal to three consecutive second trimester abortions of preterm labor, if you are putting a stitch, that we call it as history, history indicated here prophylactic circlage. USG indicated is one previous second trimester abortion or preterm labor plus TV is showing cervical length less than 2.5 centimeters. So, USG indicated is one previous second trimester abortion or preterm labor plus TV is showing cervical length of less than 2.5 centimeters. Emergency circlage or rescue circlage is when cervix is dilated. Emergency circlage or rescue circlage is when cervix is dilated. Right? So, we are having three types of circlage history indicated. USG indicated and emergency circlage. So, history indicated is when they are having three previous consecutive second trimester abortions or preterm labor. 
USG indicated is one previous second trimester abortion or preterm labor plus transvaginal sonography showing cervical length less than 2.5 centimeters. So emergency cerclage is when cer or it's also called rescue cerclage when cervix is already dilated. So most commonly applied is our McDonald itself. But here this is the worm cerclage. So where do you put the worm cerclage? It's a type of rescue yeah, emergency cerclage. So that is why the answer will go for B. The indications and contra the contraindications of cerclage has been asked as an MCQ. So ideal timing of putting the cerclage is 12 to 14 weeks after the NT scan. But you can keep this, you can put the cerclage anytime needed. But ideal time is 12 to 14 weeks after NT scan. So removal of cerclage should be done at 37 weeks or any time before she, if she gets pain abdomen. So what are the complications and contraindications of cerclage? So complications of cerclage are when we have ruptured membranes, when you have bleeding, infection, abortion and cervical dystocia. Contraindications are also very similar guys. So when you have a ruptured membrane, you should not put a stitch. When you have an infection, you are not going to put a stitch. When there is ongoing bleeding or placenta previa, you cannot put a stitch. When cervix is more than 4 cm dilated, you will not put a stitch. Dead baby or anomalous fetus also obviously you will not put a stitch. So this is about the first image based question. Right, let us see this question. A 10 weeks pregnant woman presents with you for the following USG. What is the further plan? So if you are observing, what is this picture? Yes, this is the frog eye sign or the Mickey Mouse sign. So where do we see this frog eye sign or Mickey Mouse sign? So this frog eye sign or the Mickey Mouse sign is seen in anencephaly. You see the head is not there. So this is the anencephaly. So most of the anomalies are picked up in the anomaly scan. That is the level 2 scan or TIFA scan. Targeted imaging for fetal anomalies which is done between the 18 to 22 weeks of gestation. But the most earliest scan, uh, earliest anomaly which can be picked up is the anencephaly. Anencephaly can be picked up as early as 10 weeks. But it's best detected around 14 weeks. Obviously, when you have seen an anencephaly, it's a substantial fetal anomaly. At any gestational age, if you see the anencephaly, what should be your answer? Obviously, MTP. So, this is an anencephaly and we will go for medical termination of pregnancy. So, I hope you enjoyed both the images and the questions and the answers. I am also posting this month one update on intrahepatic cholestasis for pregnancy. So do watch that. Thank you guys. All the best. Keep studying. You are going to win. And you are going to do awesome. Thank you so much guys.